On September 4, 2022, Chileans voted to reject a new constitution that had been hailed for enshrining rights for women, indigenous groups, nature, environment and water. Chile's socialist, left-leaning president Gabriel Boric, also Chile's youngest president, had staked a lot for getting the new proposed constitution to replace the old one. Voting in the referendum was mandatory. 62% of the vote went to the reject camp, while the approved camp won 38% of the vote. Journalist John Bartlett of The Guardian and New York Times tweeted that only six of Chile's 346 electoral districts voted in favour of the new constitution. On March 25, 2022, the plenary body of Chile's constitutional convention had formally approved the rights of nature within its proposed constitutional text. UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights and Environment David R. Boyd noted that the draft Chilean constitution was very progressive environmentally, economically and socially. However, Chilean voters rejected the 170-page proposal that would have legalized abortion, mandated universal health care, required gender parity in government, given indigenous groups greater autonomy, empowered labor unions, strengthened regulations on mining, and granted rights to nature and animals. In total, it would have enshrined over 100 rights into Chile's national charter. The proposal also included commitments to fight climate change and protect Chileans' right to choose their own identity. The steeply leftist and ambitious proposal seems to have turned off many Chileans, including those who previously had voted to replace the current text. There was widespread uncertainty about its implications and cost. President Boric has accepted the result of the referendum and held a meeting on September 5th morning in the Presidential Palace.